So we're in very good shape on tax reform. We have the concept of the plan. We're going to be announcing it very soon. But health care, we have to get the health care taken care of. And as soon as health care takes care of, we, we are going to march very quickly. You're going to watch. We're going to surprise you. Right, Steve Mnuchin? Right? Welcome back to the world over. President Trump there. Investing your money is always a challenge. And with the new administration in Washington, we're seeing more economic growth, but not as much as some had hoped. What is in store for all of us financially in this new Trump economy? And what about health care and tax reform? Here to tell us how we can get the most return for our investments and making wise and moral financial decisions is the founder and portfolio manager of the Ave Maria Mutual Funds, Welcome back to the program, George Schwartz. He joins us via satellite from Michigan. George, thanks for being here. George, last time you were with us, President Trump had not been elected. There was a market bounce, a so-called relief rally, but now things seem to be slowing and they're very static. What's going on? Well, since the election, uh, the capital markets have generally been upward, and I, I would characterize that as a relief rally, a relief that... Uh, Barack Hussein Obama is no longer in the White House, and additionally, uh, Hillary Clinton is uh, not the president now. Because having another um, four years of a Democrat in the White House, a pro-abortion Democrat nonetheless, uh, might have uh, uh, been almost cataclysmic for the economy. And it certainly would have hurt the chances of Roe versus Wade being repealed, which, uh, of course, we all keep hoping and praying for. Hmm. How critical is it for Trump to get a tax reform plan through Congress this year? This year is the big year. It's got to be done this year, Raymond. Hmm. And uh, he's been saying, and others, that uh, you have to get the health care insurance situation squared away first. Right. In other words, get rid of Obamacare. You know, everyone, everyone refers to refers to it as health care, but it's really health care insurance we're talking about. Mm. And the, uh, the reason it has to be taken care of first, as I understand it, is that there's some onerous tax provisions in Obamacare, which if they're not taken out or not reversed, makes the um, tax reform or tax rate reductions much more inefficient or much mm -hmm. more hard to achieve. So uh, I think the administration's going to bring back uh, the health insurance reform bill soon and hopefully it uh, can mm -hmm. get through and hopefully uh, even a half a loaf will be better than none. T tell us about that tax reform plan. Do you think the tax rates should be retroactive? Well, the great Milton Friedman used to say uh, he would take a tax reduction anytime, anywhere, <laughs> uh, for anybody, for any purpose. And, uh, and uh, he was my favorite economist for many, many years. Uh, L Larry Kudlow was my second favorite economist. Mm. When Dr. Friedman uh, passed away, Larry became my first favorite economist. Okay. But yeah, tax reduction is crucial. No question about it. Tax rate reduction is crucial, especially for corporations. Okay, we're going to get to that in a moment. What did the failure to pass the health care reform bill the first time? That was a big push on Capitol Hill. It failed. What was the market reaction? Well, the market didn't like it because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, President Trump was saying that he was going to repeal and replace Obamacare immediately. Well, when he got to the White House, he found out uh, things don't go exactly smoothly all the time, mm -hmm. especially when you have to deal with the Congress. But uh, the long term is still positive and it will be even more positive for the economy and the stock market if Obama or if, uh, yeah. if President Trump can get uh, health care insurance reform done and tax rate reductions completed this mm -hmm. year, that will be uh, very important. If, if they don't, if they can't get those things done, it's, uh, it's very bad news for Republicans. Oh, boy. Speaking of tax reform, this is Vice President Mike Pence speaking this week in Tokyo about the taxes on businesses. Listen. Our corporate tax rate, sadly, is one of the highest in the developed world. It's more than 10 percent higher than the tax rate here in Japan. President Trump's plan is to slash the corporate tax rate and reform the tax code and make it simpler, flatter, and fairer. Rest assured, our tax reform plan will make the strongest economy in the world stronger still, and it will benefit every business represented here today. 
Now, George Schwartz, uh, a member of your board, He's Larry Kudlow and some of his pals, Steve Forbes, uh, Stephen Moore, another economist, have written an op-ed, and they suggest the president should move forward and do an immediate corporate tax rate cut. Forget the omnibus tax cut and focus just on that. You would say what? I'd say if the president did that, it would be a great plus, not only for corporate America, but for employment in the country and growth generally, growth in GDP, growth in corporate profits, and uh, increased prosperity across the board. The uh, uh, American tax rate on corporations is ridiculous, and it should be cut substantially. Mm. And the net result would be, in my view, an increase in revenues to the Treasury, not a reduction. Mm -hmm. Now, they claim, your, your economist friends that I just mentioned, uh, Forbes, uh, Steve Moore, and Larry Kudlow, who's on your Ivy Maria board, they claim that it would stimulate hiring and be good for workers. But it seems politically unrealistic, isn't it, George? I mean, you can't give corporations a tax cut and not give the worker and the middle class a tax cut, too. Yeah, everyone should get a tax cut, but the one that will have the most impact is if the tax rate on corporations is reduced. Okay. That's what can really stimulate the economy and stimulate job creation. Let's talk about investment. And stimulate prosperity. Let's talk about investment for a minute. What's the biggest risk that you see for investors right now and their biggest misconception as they jump into this market? Well, you asked me that question before the election, and I said the biggest risk for investors was if Hillary Clinton won the presidency. Mm -hmm. Thank God that didn't happen. The biggest risk now is if uh, the uh, Republican Party can't get um, tax reform done and uh, health care insurance reform done. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if those things can't get done and done this year, um, I think the Republicans have a real risk of going the way of the Whig Party. And that would be uh, disastrous if we lost uh, Republicans and conservatives uh, speaking out in Washington and implementing uh, pro-growth, low tax rate policies. Mm. Well, so what the is challenge the is for Mr. Trump to get his act together. Mm. What's the biggest misconception that people have when they come into your office, when they come to invest in Ave Maria funds or in any other index funds, which are exploding right now, by the way? Oh, yeah. I think the biggest misconception most investors have is that uh, they can outguess the near-term swings in the market. Mm. And they'll say things like, gee, the market's gone up a lot. Uh, maybe I better just hold off investing. Or maybe I should sell some uh, stocks and uh, raise cash to be more defensive. The, um, I've quoted to you before the great, late and great John Templeton, Sir John mm. Templeton. And he always said, <clears throat> the, uh, the best time to invest in a good mutual fund is when you have the money to do so. Mm. And he'd also say frequently over the years that um, uh, any day is a good enough day to invest in a good enough mutual fund. Mm. And our Ave Maria mutual funds are plenty good in my view. Now, so people now, have this uh, misconception that they can outguess the market. And that's, that's a big, mm. big mistake. I read a piece this week where Vanguard now has billions of dollars of assets in their, in their mutual funds. Um, and tell, tell people the difference between what Vanguard does and what you do at the Ave Maria Fund. Is, is it a managed fund, or do you use computer uh, data to drive your investments? We use a lot of computers, but not to drive the investment process, just to do research and um, statistical tabulations. But Vanguard uh, invented the index funds, mm -hmm. and I think they have over a trillion dollars now in uh, mm -hmm. some of their index funds. Um, Fidelity, the same thing, over a trillion dollars in index funds. Index funds uh, simply invest, for example, the S&P 500 index mm -hmm. fund invest in all 500 companies in the S&P 500. Right. And um, when new money comes in, they have to buy those same stocks. Mm -hmm. When uh, money comes out of the index funds, they have to sell those, those uh, same stocks. By the way, those index funds are not screened for moral principles the way mm -hmm. our Ave Maria mutual funds are screened. Mm -hmm. Are you experiencing the same level of gains, George Schwartz, as you're, we're seeing in the index funds or these kind of automatic mutual funds? We've been very fortunate. Our investment performance has been very good and has uh, each of the funds last year, for instance, each of our funds exceeded its benchmark in investment performance. And, um, and we have the uh, 
benefit too of having uh, our funds uh, screened by our Catholic Advisory Board, mm -hmm. which screens out abortion and pornography and a few things like that. But uh, we've been blessed too with the net inflow of money. We've had uh, significant inflows, net inflows of money this year. Most mutual funds, most actively managed mutual funds mm -hmm. like ours, have had uh, net redemptions this year as money has flowed into uh, the index funds literally by the billions. Hmm. No, it's an amazing phenomenon. George Schwartz, thank you for being here for your insight. And if you're interested in finding out more about morally responsible investing, you can visit AveMariaFunds.com. Their phone number is 866-AVE-MARIA.